Uh, I think this is about the longest tunnel love ride I've ever been on in my whole life. I think we're lost at sea. Oh, don't be ridiculous. There's a boat right in front of us. Oh, don't be ridiculous. That's my cue card boat. I never leave home without it. Oh, my terrific no food no water oh when you get to booze then i'll panic <laughs> oh forgive me for interrupting you oh. <laughs> it is all right my boat she ran away from me oh. silly boat oh do you know who this is this is cousteau oh yeah i remember i heard in cousteau <laughs> I, uh, Kister. I thought your last name was Strap. He's my brother. Oh, that is your brother? Me. Oh. His brother. <laughs> Do you know where we are, pal? Yes, it is not. The nearest land, she is only six miles away. Oh, no. Oh, that's Weed. terrible. Weed, you ah, might as well. You're in the water. You can <laughs> I'm a little overdue. <laughs> overdue? You've been lost for 42 years. Did I miss much? <laughs> oh, 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 is this a cow? Feel your feet on the deck again. My last ship went down with all hands. What was your cargo? All hands. Oh. Help me. Do you get better reception with these? Uh, have you been uh, that horny all your life? <laughs> all of you die. No, no, oh, no. Do something, Dean. Come on. Something. No, Sue's a savage feast. Sing, sing. Everybody loves somebody. Sing, sing. Everybody. Keep singing. Keep singing. Dive, dive, dive. <laughs> <laughs>
special guest star from Monty Python, Graham Chapman. Olympic gold medal winner, John Curry. From Matt, Jamie Farr. Joe Namath. The fantastic Sister Swed. Country star, Tanya Tucker. The Argentinian Gov Show. The Big Show players, Mimi Kennedy, Joe Baker, Paul Grimm, Charlie Hill, Edie McClurg, Pamela Myers, Shabadoo, Owen Sullivan, with the Big Show dancers, ice skaters, water ballet, and the fabulous Dancing Water. for this evening, Dean Martin and Marianne Hartley. If they asked me, I could write a book. Yeah, who'd ask you? <laughs> About the way you walk and whisper. Preface on how we met <laughs> so the world would never forget. Yeah, well, neither would my husband. <laughs> and the simple secret of the plot. The butler did it. <laughs> is just to tell them that I love you a lot. That book I'm taking home. <laughs> and, and the, the world, world discovers how my book ends. Lovers? Oh, come on, not so fast. I mean, let's see if we can get along for crying out loud. I like New York in June. How about you? I like a Gershwin tune. How about you? I like a fireside when a storm is due. I like potato chips, moonlight, and motor trips. You. And name it through that bomb. I used to roar. <laughs> you both are fellows who just love to score. You do. Yeah. Well, the end of the TV show. Well, when all the lights are low. May, may not be new. But I like it. it. How about you? about the big show. Oh, it's not that big. You got a kid. Look at all the ice and the water. Since when were you satisfied with just ice and water? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a variety show or one of my roasts. Huh? Well, for you, it's a first rehearsal. <laughs> Okay, you know, I've been, uh, you know, I've been as busy as a bee all week, working with those pretty little swimmers. Yeah, but you're supposed to rehearse in the pool, Dean, not in your dressing room. <laughs> the swimmers and I were doing laps around my wet bar. <laughs> hoping to learn something from you tonight, and I think I have. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you will. Oh, I... As soon as we get this show out of the way. <laughs> you want to know something? I just, really, listen, I fell in love with you doing those commercials. Oh, Didn't sad. you fall in love with us? Thank you, you made the cue, some of those up. Oh, I heard. That's what I. That's what I heard. Yeah, Nobody I make wrote. them up. I, I make them all did. up. Uh -huh. That's what I told. I told Frank. I told Frank, and he was so impressed that, uh, you know, he heard I was going to do a show with Mrs. Olson. <laughs> what Frank doesn't know is that I'm really, really in. <laughs> Cronkite's look 
to seven o'clock. <laughs> the kid and I did the act alone tonight, I want you to know it. I want you to know that the manager fired us. Well, he didn't fire me. He fired you in absentia. <laughs> we never played there. <laughs> Why am I bothering? I'm leaving and that's it. Well, what about the kid? I'm tired of wiping chins and tying shoes and picking up clothes off the floor. Well, he's just a kid. Not him, I'm talking about you. <laughs> I'm tired of being a wife. I'm gonna live my life. I'm gonna find my own space. <laughs> you take care of the kid. I'm leaving. He's right next door. Well, he's gonna find out sooner or later. It might just as well be now. <laughs> partner. <laughs> Good morning, kid. You sleep well? Hey, thanks for bringing in the paper. But I wish you'd let me read it before you eat it. <laughs> hey, wait. Here's your bananas over. Easy. Just the way you want. No? Well, then, here's, here's a bananas and a banana toast. 
that. <laughs> okay. Here, bananas, Benedict. Yeah. <laughs> Here we are, banana McMuffin. <laughs> you want. You want your ice cream, huh? But not for breakfast. Remember, I'm the boss, and don't you forget it. <laughs> time for milk. Yeah, yeah, and the time is the right time for milk. <laughs> Liquid known to man than the old moo cow juice. <laughs> now watch how much I enjoy it. Here's looking at you, kid. Yes, sir. That, that's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Look, girl, no ice cream for you. <laughs> Take away your Marlon Perkins dartboard. That's what I'll do. You're in the biggest trouble ever. You're really in trouble. That that starts with a T and lands with me, and I'll hide your flea collar. You don't know what trouble is. This is more trouble than you can handle. Understand, kid? You won't get your teeth capped. I'd hate to be in your shoes right now because you're in serious trouble. T R U B L. You know what that spells? You know that, don't you, kid? Definitely no zoo Saturday. <laughs> How do you like that? Hi, no kid. I'm back from California where I found myself. <laughs> Me. Do you know how much trouble you're in if you touch that kid? Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, you're in trouble with a capital T. Oh, yeah? That, we'll see about that. Sabina? That's right. I'm gonna get the kid back. I'll see you in court. Come on, kid. Come on. Atta boy. Attaboy. Attaboy. Trouble for you. Trouble, I'll tell I'll you. I'll see you later. Trouble for you. as my own counsel, I call my first witness, Mr. Framer, to the stand. Mr. Framer, to the stand! <laughs> right, I'm already here. <laughs> Your Honor, before I question my witness, I would like to present a few precedents that I'm sure Mr. Framer is unfamiliar with. Hey, I know all the precedents. Washington, Jefferson, Lincoln, Nixon, anybody I leave out? You see, that's your problem. I mean, you never take anything seriously. That's why you're not fit to take care of the kid. Hey, I want you to know the kid looks up to me. In your normal condition, you look up to him. <laughs> How'd you knock it off? Oh, you knock it off. Mr. Kramer, you know where the witness chair is? Yes. Then sit on it. <laughs> Mrs. Framer, Thank you me. may continue. As I was saying, Your Honor, before I was so rudely interrupted, precedents from show business cases. 1943, Jackson versus Jackson. Mrs. Jackson was awarded the tap dancing hippopotamus. Lord knows what she did with it, but... 1955, Watterson versus Watterson. Mrs. Watterson was awarded the mind-reading zebra. <laughs> Let's not forget the case of Noodleman versus Noodleman in 1969, an interesting case involving a python and a brown bear. In district court, Mr. Noodleman was awarded the python, and Mrs. Noodleman was awarded the brown bear. And that ain't the full story, pal. Mr. Noodleman, that gutsy little guy that he was, he appealed to the Supreme Court and was awarded the python as well as the brown bear. And that still ain't the whole story, pal. Mr. Noodleman crossed the python on with a bear and made fur rugs for long, thin hallways. <laughs> Mrs. Kramer, do 
you have any further questions? No, no. No, no, I, I think he about covered everything. <laughs> well, before I make my decision, are there any closing statements? Yeah, I'd like to say something, uh, Your Honor. Uh, <laughs> the kid and me, uh, or is it uh, the kid and I, or uh, both of us and me, <laughs> have spent... <laughs> I've spent two years together, side by side, 24 hours a day. <laughs> every, every, is he going like that? <laughs> every night I'd put his furry little body up and in color. You know that? And that made him copy. Copy? Yeah, copy. Oh. Very, very happy. Well, and every <laughs> and that make him very sad. <laughs> I even got his picture took taken. I even had his picture taken with Lenny and Squish. And nobody could tell the difference. Ah, why every night? Oh, now, shut up. Now, 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 now. That would be enough out of the both of you. <laughs> the finding of this court to award the custody of the kid <laughs> to Mrs. Framer. Oh, close. oh, I did it. I did it. Oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> oh, gosh, it was terrible of me to leave you. <laughs> It was, it was terrible of me to, to come back. And it was even terribler of me to drag you through a nasty court battle. And terribler? Terribler. And take the kid away. <laughs> and I think that that judge's decision was rotten. But those are the breaks. Come on, kid. Yeah. Kid. No kid, over here. <laughs> uh, well, it's, it's, it's not goodbye, sweetheart, because everywhere you go, every step you take, the memory of me will be right with you. Isn't that right, kid? When the moon hits your eye, I just think it beats the fire. Welcome back to the big show. And here's Olympic gold medal winner, John Curry. <laughs> I know his little brother, Shrimp Curry. <laughs> Dean, come on, he's fantastic on ice. Better than bourbon? <laughs> I gotta see this. I wish you could. <laughs> this gotta be a rose. I know. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. John Curry. tonight, you know. Yeah. Who? Sinatra. Oh, Sinatra. Oh, yeah, one of our great stand-up comedians. Wonderful. Yeah. 300 is wrong, and 100 on the hard end. All right, this is it, Elmo. Right. This is our last bet. We got 10 minutes to catch hey, that Hey, let's play. bet it all, honey. I got a feeling about this role. Elmo, huh? I'm out of checks. This is all the cash I we got. I got a hunch about You're him. Nice, he looks buddy. lucky, you know? Well, let's keep some of him. No, are you crazy? I'll tell you, I got a feeling this is it. One lightning roll coming off of the cushion, and we'll be the richest couple in the view aisle. Yeah, coming up. 
That's it, all the way up. Here we Luck go. be a lady tonight. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. Luck be a lady tonight. Oh, yeah. yeah. your helmet? <laughs> Understanding progress will be made. Uh, Mr. Hill. Yes, Mr. Hill. Yes, Mr. Hill. Hill. Mr. Hill, Harry Hogan, Concern Review. Uh -huh. Do you think that Indians should be drafted? I don't think anyone should be drafted. I feel if we were meant to be soldiers, the Creator would have made us green with baggy skin. <laughs> Mr. Hill, uh, Mr. Hill, uh, Mr. Hill, Mr. Hill, Mr. Hill, Mr. Hill uh, how do you feel about uh, stereotypes, Indian stereotypes? You know, people uh, depicted uh, wearing colored feathers and little loincloths and, and lots of war paint. I say, let Cher dress any way she wants to. Is it true that your great-grandfather fell at Gettysburg? He, yes, he did. He uh -huh. tripped over the monument. <laughs> Yes, Tony Ponsonby, the London Times. I read in your resume that at one time you were a musician. Uh, yes, I was. I, I played the little bighorn. <laughs> I think you're standing a little too close to the microphone. Could you back up? Yeah, maybe that's it. How's that? Perhaps a little more. How's that? A little more. How far you want me to go? Do you have a horse? <laughs> oh, and here is Tanya Tucker. That's it? That, uh, what, what's it? That's all? What's all? Your introduction? Yeah, what's wrong? But Tanya's a big star appearing on the big show. She's very popular. Why don't you say that? You just did. <laughs> Tanya Tucker. That's it? That's it. That's it. The insults in the country school, just to like they always had. He knocked me down and left the room, but I come running back. And I said, hey, look around. Hey, look in your mirror.
so you keep the car and all those passionate letters they won't get you that far they won't make you feel better and maybe someday some other time we can try this Tanya, terrific. Well, thank you, Mr. Martin. But don't call me Mr. Martin. You can call me by my first name. Okay, uh, what is it? <laughs> you know, I think this is a roast. <laughs> hey, well, Tanya, you sure have blossomed into a beautiful girl, a young lady, and now you can do what all the young American girls love to do, bake pies, clean house, and knit sweaters. Get drafted. <laughs> That's right. Well, if they do, would you get me a couple uh, tickets to your physical? Can I send it for a right now. Yes.
just ask you. So are you. I'm your wife's agent. <laughs> what? That's right. I mean, show people have them and athletes have them, so why shouldn't wives have them? Hey, look, buddy, buzz off, huh? <laughs> I can talk tough too, buddy. I'm your wife's agent and I'm here to inform you that your wife has had it with all this second billing. Oh, well, what are you talking about? From now on, your names will be Mrs. and Mr. Stella Drumbowski. <laughs> that goes on your mailbox, your towels, your checks, and your matchbook cups. Hey, that ain't fair, four eyes. Fair? Fair? Has it been fair for your wife to work like a slave? Work? Hey, this is work. She stays at home, looks after the children, the carpool, the vacuuming, the polishing, the dishes. Sometimes she has to shovel a little snow. But only in the wintertime. Exactly. That's why your wife, my client, is demanding from you a salary of $17,000 a year. <laughs> she must be crazy. That's what I told her. So we upped it to $20,000. <laughs> Plus fringe benefits. <laughs> what were fringe benefits? Well, for example, she wants to be guaranteed to have someone to talk to her. Hey, I talked to her just last month. Next, next, family planning. In the future, you take the necessary precautions to avoid more children. <laughs> You mean I've got to get the headache? <laughs> and she wishes to renegotiate the present agreement pertaining to mutual benefits derived from making love. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, what's the complaint there, pal? She says you're not holding up your end. <laughs> This whole thing. Ten percent of everything your wife gets. What does that mean? Well, every ten days you take me dancing. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, the big show presents Sister Slate.
had my entire body tattooed with the map of the United States. <laughs> By the time I get to Phoenix, she'll be riding. Boy, are you easy. <laughs> oh, Jamie, I think her was. Just see, yeah, you think this, this is an all this time? Why is she for the day, do the things that you most want to do. Honestly, a girl's not even safe in the laundry room. He attacked me during my spin-dry cycle. That man is an animal. Did you hear that, Paul? Yes, but I don't want to get involved. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm gonna get involved right now. It is time someone put that creep in his place. You know, my psychiatrist, Dr. Seymour Fraud, says that women only get attacked when they deliberately come on to a man. Asking to borrow fabric softener is hardly a come on. <laughs> okay, that settles it. I don't go back in there without a whip and a chair. That sounds like a come on to me. All right, enough is enough. I'll handle this. <laughs> The man is more desperate than I thought. I would like to suggest that perhaps he is overly aggressive because he is basically insecure. That's right. Don't be ridiculous. The man probably has wall-to-wall -wall mirrors on the ceiling over his bed. He does. The magnifying mirrors. I did not think of that. Come, Mr. Wonderful. That's me. Crazy about myself. <laughs> hey there, good looking. Jamie's my name. Lovin's my game. 
<laughs> Little piggy went to market. <laughs> hey there, cutie. How would you like to take a trip to the moon on Gossamer Wing? Know what I mean, huh? What are you supposed to be, a travel agent? And leave the driving to us. <laughs> Keep that as a souvenir. Girls, girls! You gotta learn to control yourselves. Can I help if I'm such a gift to women? Is it my fault that I drive you all wild? Now, wait a minute. As the manager of this apartment, I want to warn you, one more incident like that in the laundry room, I personally will take up a collection to have you altered. My clothes fit me perfectly. Hey, buddy, where's 104? Oh, yeah, through those doors, down the hall, you hang a right, then a left, you got it. Time for a break. <laughs> Joe, tell those guys they can't just leave that stuff here. Are you kidding? They got a very strong union, and I don't look too good in a cement suit. Oh, boy, look at this. Another chick who's going to be throwing herself at me. Huh. I better start giving out numbers. Oh, he's trying to kid. We're going to have to warn her about him. Yeah, I hope for her sake she's got a black belt. Oh, oh a black belt? Ha, 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 ha. Will you please put that stuff back? You're a latch. Put it back. Run out and have that filled. Put it back. Oh, look at this. She's into P&W. P&W. Pin and wheel. Oh, oh, oh look at this. She's into yo and yo. Oh. <laughs> Oh, yes. Oh, I'm in big trouble. Big trouble. I'll have to increase my vitamin E. <laughs> they are. Oh, there's one yeah. running in my head. Come on, Jamie. Yes. She's right. Will you please put that stuff back? Make a wish. You <laughs> You better put that stuff back. The new tenant's coming. Yep. If that's the new tenant, I better slip into something less attractive or she'll be all over me. Oh! I've been looking all over for it. Oh, hello to you. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Mrs. Merv Mendenhall. I am from the Nines. Oh, yes. oh, you look like a nice, cheery group. And this is such a charming apartment house. And what a cute pool there. Oh, it's just a dream come true for me to move into an exciting place like this. Well, you may not know it, but I used to be just a housewife. Mrs. Merv Mendenhall of the Nines. Days, you know, and the high point of my day was watching the young and the restless. Oh, that's what I used to call the couple across the street. No shades on their window. But that all changed when I lost my husband. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, it was on the freeway. Oh, how terrible. Yes, it was during the rush hour, you see, and, and we always drove in separate cars because of the children. Oh. Mindy, 10, Marv Jr., eight. Charming children. Well, anyway, Marv Sr. took a wrong turn off the freeway, and he just kept right on a-going. And I can still see that little dog bouncing up and down in his rear window as he drove out of sight. It was a schnauzer. But six months ago, and I haven't heard from him since, so I had him declared legally lost. And thus, I can begin my own new life. <laughs> Pack the children off to Grandma for the summer, and here I am, ready to, well, just move into my own space and, and do my own thing. <laughs> and also, I'm looking for a little action. <laughs> I like the like I like the boogie. Ah, <laughs> uh, snap, crackle, and pop. Ah, uh, uh. Pardon me, sir. Can you tell me where that gorgeous chick is that belongs to that kinky clothing? Well, you're looking at her, big boy. Must be the goggles. Ooh. Well, brown eyes, do you fool around? Do I? You? you. Oh, girls, somebody, sailor, help me. Oh. No. Great. Oh. oh, brace yourself, big boy. Here comes Mama. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Dean asked me to introduce our next act, the Fantastic Gaucho. Oh, now I know why.
husband will be home any minute. We're going out to dinner. Oh. oh. All right, my darling, I'll go, but just one last kiss. All right. Oh, my God, it's my husband. Quick, hide. No, in the closet. In the closet. Honey, I'm home. Come in. Come in. Oh. Hey, aren't you ready yet? Just once, I'd like to see you be on time. Well, I, but I, I can't find anything to wear. Nothing. I've looked oh, and looked. you've got to be putting me on. Nothing, nothing. to wear? you got got hundred dresses in there. No, I Get don't. Get away from there. you got a... <laughs> Look at this. A red one. Huh? A blue one. Purple one. Orange one. Nice, man. For a score of years or more, you sense a certain surge and you get the urge to urgently explore. I'll tell you, friend, you're a trend. Here's a lesson I might be taught. If it's extracurricular, be particular, because when you're caught, you're caught. When you're caught, you're caught. Be careful, we mess up to our sin. No more mess, we learned our lesson and we'll never sin again. Example. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, hide, it's my husband. Oh, my gosh. Hide, quick. Wait a minute. I am your husband. <laughs> manager to room 126 right away. I have a complaint. <laughs> Come in. Oh, have, uh, have you a complaint, madam? You bet I do. Yeah. This room is right next to the railroad tracks, and I bet you knew it all the time, and a train came by and practically threw me out of bed. Ma'am, I've been the manager here for five years, and there's never been one complaint about this room. Are you saying you don't believe me? Well, as I said, five years, never one all complaint. All right, all right, just lie down here in bed. I, I guarantee you, you'll lie down in bed, a train will come by. Come on, just try it. Go ahead. It's gonna come by. <laughs> all right, honey, I'm home. Stop trying to get paper in it. Well, I'm gonna lay you a hundred to one, you ain't gonna believe me. I'm waiting for a train. <laughs> I went stepping out, I was careful as could be. Found a table for two, private rendezvous, just designed for secrecy. We were sipping their wine and things looked fine when we dropped his jaw. Didn't seem possible, swear by the gods, but a waitress was my mother-in-law. Oh, I can't your cup, a mess up to our sins. I told you he was dumb. <laughs>
the big show to bed. Yeah, well, don't get any ideas. That's all you're putting to bed. <laughs> Not in front of the kid. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to uh, have me give you a piggy uh, back ride uh, into your own little bed? Huh? <laughs> Let's tell them, kid. Good night. Let's tell them, kid. Oh, you better watch it. How would you like me to sing to you again? Oh. <laughs> oh tell it. Uh, this has definitely been a roast. <laughs> train coming up. Oh. <laughs> and all that train's got to come through at one point. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, you can't call the conductor. <laughs> Will you go to your room? Go see my ex-partner. <laughs> Somebody there. See if she's got a sister. <laughs> oh, hi. How's it been going lately? I mean, how's it been going lately? I'm telling you, it's a jungle out there. Say something. Oh, I see. He has to say something. Yeah, he's gonna talk, oh. and then we can leave. <laughs> oh, he's getting, he's dead. Try Mrs. Kong. <laughs> Next week, Tony Randall and Irv Avia Chase host The Big Show with guests Lola Falana, Dorothy Hamill, and more. Right now, from the creator of MASH, it's the United States, next. 